Good morning, everybody. It's just about 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here. Uh, Bailey's in the house. Um, this is going to be uh, my finished whip, which is the poncho that I have been ferociously working on, putting down, working on, putting down, working on, put down, finally finished. Yay! It's done. I'm so glad. I'm telling you. So my poncho is done. It is uh, the poncho inspired by um, Crystal's uh, at Bagot Day's uh, pattern number 630, I believe. And then I am going to unbox my ever, first ever, first, first ever win on a giveaway that came in from Nana Michelle. So, then I'm gonna make a second video, guys, uh, unboxing uh, my recent yarn haul. Yay, I finally got in all my boxes. I'm so happy to share all of this with you. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you my finished poncho. It's heavy, guys. I'm telling you, if my husband gets cold, Wearing this, I will be shocked. Like, shocked. Okay, so. This is going to be very hard to show. Because I'm going to need to stand up and do this. In the hopes that it comes out right. Let's see. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. So this way you can actually see I'm not going to put it on because then I'm just going to get all my hair all over it. So this is the final finished shawl. Yay! I am so happy and I really, really hope that my husband will love it. Uh, I'm sure it's going to keep him nice and toasty warm. The stitching in it is beautiful. It was such an easy pattern to follow. Um, I love it, Crystal. Thank you for this pattern. I enjoyed making it, although life kind of threw some curveballs and I had to keep putting it down. But voila, it is done. So this is the final product for my husband. Let me know, please, in the comment sections if uh, you like it. I used oof, almost three balls of this yarn. Three cakes is what I used, and it is. Oh, bye. I'm smashing into my things here. The Karen Big Cakes. This is literally what I've got left from the third cake. And each cake was 603 yards. So that's what's left of the third cake. I am debating on whether I'm going to add some fringe to the bottom or not. Um, I might not. I might just leave it the way it is because it's really nice just the way it is. But maybe you can, uh, in the comment section, leave me a comment as to what you might think. It is a four worsted. It is a four. And the color, I believe that's where the color is. Where's the color? Where did the color go? Oh, I'm covering the cover. <laughs> the color was vanilla bean. I had it covered there. But that's the color. Vanilla bean. Where's it for? That's what's left. All right. I'm excited. To open this, I've been waiting and waiting. As you can see, this came in 
from Nana Michelle. It is the first time I ever won a giveaway. I'm telling you, I have never been so excited in my entire life. So let's open this together and let's see what we have inside without Beverly killing herself with this exact knife. Hmm. It's a seriously wrapped box there, Nana Michelle. I'm working on it. I'm a working on it. I'm a working on it. Try going the other way. Wow. That was really wrapped good, Nana Michelle. I gotta tell you, they weren't mucking with this at customs. <laughs> Either that or they did muck with it at customs. Oh, there we go. I got one. Oh, my Lord. And there's... Wow. Maybe I should have done this before I came in. <laughs> this is insane. Oh. There we go. Oh, my gosh. One side, and I'm a struggling. Here we go! Yay! I did it. Put my my nasty tool away. <laughs> All right. So there is a little note on the inside. And it says, congrats on your winnings, XOXOXO from Nana Michelle Crochets. Woohoo. So let us see what is in this box. Woohoo. Okay. I have. A lemon and lime twist. Oh, that sounds really good. I'm going to say Ahmed P. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, you know. I could be wrong, but it says that this is a blend of fine black teas with a twist of lemon and lime to deliver a true citrus refreshment. It's a delightful combination to awaken the senses and highlight the joy of life. Gonna have to try that, I tell ya. I'm not a huge tea drinker, but it sounds pretty nummy. It sounds pretty nummy, 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 nummy. Oh, okay, shawl in the ball, nice. And that's chain spun. Oh, and it's got sparkle in it. OMG, it's got sparkle. It is called Mystical Mirage. It is classified as a four weight, 61% cotton, 34% acrylic, and 5% other fibers. And it is. Uh, 400 OMG, I can't see, I am blind. Lights, maybe I see something, hold on. I wear glasses, folks, but I can't see anything for the life of me. Look at this. Look at how beautiful these colors are, OMG. And can you see the sparkle in it? Oh, look at that. Look at this, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Definitely gonna have to make a shawl out of that. I will definitely need to make a shawl out of this. And for the life of me, folks, I'm sorry. I cannot read the yardage on it because I am literally blind as a bat. I really, I am. I can't see. I can't read it. I really, but it's 400 and... Wow, 81 yards. Okay, you really got to like, start making the print a little bit bigger, guys. 
People like us can't see. Isn't this gorgeous? Did I mention the color? Mystical Mirage. Wow, that is stunning. Thank you so much, Nana Michelle. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then she sent me two packages of Serenity Chunky Weight yarn. And the color is none. I really do. I'm gonna have to open one up so I can open it so I can see you guys and tell you what it is because I can't read anything. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. That's really pretty. It's from Premier Yarns. Classified as a five weight. There's two of these, by the way, so that's six altogether that came here. And I'm just trying to make out the label, guys. I'm sorry, because it is really hard to see. It says grape jam is the color. And uh, each ball is 109 yards or 100 meters. So, um, I'm sure I could really make something very pretty of that. And grape gen, huh? Gem or gen? Jam. <laughs> I'm reading things that aren't even there. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should go get myself another coffee. So this is it. And I got six of these. Nana Michelle, thank you so much. These are beautiful. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make with this one yet. I might just do a nice hat and scarf set for one of the homeless people. Um that I would really like people to uh, donate or help me with. Um, possibly even, if I have enough, make um, some fingerless gloves too. So I think that's what I'm gonna use this for. A hat, a scarf, and some fingerless gloves. If there's enough, we will see. I'm not quite sure I'll have enough yardage, but it depends, I guess, on the stitch I use for the scarf. Once again, thank you, Nana Michelle. This is absolutely gorgeous. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy I won this. So that's it for this video. My next one is going to be a yarn unboxing. I have two different companies that I have ordered stuff from, and I am really excited about opening those boxes too. So for now, everybody, hugs, kisses. I love y'all. And uh, stay inspired, stay safe, and keep crocheting. Bye for now.